The help comes following several reports that the school has been affected by water crisis. District Chief Executive for Amansia South, Clement Opoku Jemfi and Baba Sadiq Adams, a sports journalist, made the kind gesture to the students. Both could not stand the news and so had to work together to address the challenge. So a school of over 60 something years of age, uh, Santa Maria should be hitting 70 years in 2024 because it was established in 1954. So certainly there are other prominent old students out there. Even in our time in school here, uh, during our days, we used to see some prominent um, figures in school who come to um, donate and do one or two other stuff to motivate us and so i know they are listening to us they are watching us um i've also read from the media that other year groups of this very school are also doing their very best to make sure that the school is in good shape they are so looking at other support to address the challenges of the school definitely we we've taken a tour of the school and uh, we've seen some challenges the headmaster has also confirmed them and uh, we think that first of all uh, there is a refuse dump just uh, inside once you enter the school and that's not good for the image of the school. They asked for an incinerator to be able to uh, contain the refuse. And also, this is a school that was known for its sporting prowess, uh, even when we were here and before we came and after we left. Uh, but there is not a single sporting facility of standard that we've seen here. But there are, I mean, sites and spaces around. So we are planning. Uh, we do not want to, I mean, preempt or just put uh, ahead before we do, just like we did this one. But we think that uh, the school definitely needs a sports complex or an Astro Turf. Uh, where students can play uh, and exhibit their sporting skills and social activities in the evenings and even in the afternoon. So, uh, Headmaster of Asantemai Senior High School, Mr. Nathaniel Enchi Asamoa, was grateful to the former students and encouraged them to do more. I, I have indicated already the school wasn't originally uh, designed to be a boarding school. And so, our so water supply system. Uh, is not as it's supposed to be. Uh, so uh, we now are close to about 4,000 in terms of student population. And if you can imagine the pressure that will be on the uh, little water that we get from Ghana Water Company. So the situation is such that the water which is not available as it should be makes class attendance to delay, especially when they all have to go for water in the morning. The pressure on the 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 uh, the, 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 the little that we have uh, becomes so much that it delays their uh, preparation to class. After school too, you have the same pressure. So uh, that means that if you have several outlets of water, uh, that will ease that problem, and then we will be able to enhance. Uh, our teaching and le learning uh, uh, encounter as early as we have to. He called on the government, non-governmental organization and other individuals to come to the aid of the school. We request that uh, government will also give attention to us as far as classroom is concerned. We need classroom. Government has done uh, some uh, constructions, dormitories, and then a 12-unit classroom. But we, if we get an additional 18-unit classroom block, that will probably help in the attempt to face, face uh, off the double track. Some of the students also expressed their excitement about the support Mr. to the school. Chey Obed, please. I am the boys' prefect of this school. And then I am very, very grateful for this wonderful thing that our old students have come and do for us because at the girls side they usually come to the boys day when there is shortage of water uh -huh. and as you know the boys anytime that the girls comes there they usually shout maybe because of say they will be bathing and then the tap is also close to the bathing house so as they've come and donate this special thing for us we are happy about that one
uh, get water so it's not enough Okay, the water, uh, although we have water here, but it's not enough for us. And sometimes after closing, you come to the dormitory and you see students lining up. Whilst also, they must also be in hurry to go for classes. But because of the lesser water boreholes in the dormitory, they'll be delaying for classes hours. Thank you so much. Please, water source. Okay, my name is Boati Abnaukutu. And to tell you the truth, we are very much happy with this project that they've come up with right here. We are saying that we are much grateful. Like, words can't express how happy we are and our feelings to them because we really needed it. And it was one major big problem in the school. So we are very, very much happy. A report by Mohamed Nuruddin.